Welcome back, Black Star family. Today we talk about Cardano, the market, what's going on. Let's talk about it. Let's get it. My name is Rich and today we're going to get in this video and talk about the market, Cardano, is it safe, what is going on, there's mayhem and bloods in the street, people are going crazy, not too sure what to do, what not to do. I'm going to talk about it in my opinion, give you my perspective, and you can take it from there. Let's get into the video. So before we get started, let's take a look at DeFi Llama. Cardano took a nice blow in its total value lock because the value of Cardano went down by almost 10 cents. So we were at a high of 183 million. Now we're at 139 million, rough, give or take. And a lot of our DeFi applications have went down in value significantly. I mean, Wing Riders is now number six. Wi-Fi is beating that out, which is amazing. I, I didn't think uh, it happened that fast, but it's happening. But another note, the value of our, our assets have decreased because of what happened with SEC and Gary Gensler naming Cardano a security, which he is wrong for. Cardano in no way, shape or form is a security. I'm not an expert, but I truly believe that's not the case. According to the Howey test and the principles that lay out what a security is, Cardano does not fall in that category. And as a result, we lost some, some market share and we'll get it back. Cardano is resilient. This community is resilient. The people who support it are resilient. The people who sold out and sold their coins, it did rightfully so because they were scared. And there's nothing wrong with that. Crypto is still at a $1 trillion market cap. Bitcoin is holding a 47% dominance. The price of Bitcoin is fluctuating between 25.8 and 26.1. It's been going back and forth all day. It hasn't settled yet. Ethereum's been holding 1700 without a problem. And the rest of the crypto market is just going up and down. We're going to talk about it a little bit deeper in just a second. So taking a look at Cardano, she's been holding 27 cents. Went all the way down to 24 again, 25. But Cardano's been making a good effort to hold this price value of above 25 cents for the last two days. This is really good for Cardano. It means the ecosystem supporting the blockchain. Not everybody was panicked and scared and left thinking it was security and with the fear of Robinhood taking Cardano, delisting it in the next couple of days. This is a little bit of a dark time, but we're resilient. Crypto's resilient. We're going to get through and pull through this without a problem. Everything's still on track. The rest of the world is on board. If the U.S. is falling behind just a little bit, that's fine. We still have Coinbase. We have Binance.us. They just stopped fiat transfers for now. But there's always other avenues. You can always convert your Cardano coins into Bitcoin, transfer it over to another exchange, and cash out that way. And if you haven't noticed, all the other major U.S. exchanges that are in the U.S., U.S. exchanges, the only one willing to delist Cardano was Robinhood. Think about it. They're associated. There's issues going on. They're going to try and help with the FUD. It's my opinion. Um, don't notice this fact. But why are they the only ones delisting Cardano? Only exchange in the U.S. And why did the SEC name Cardano and all the rest of these other coins as securities, but never went after the foundations that govern them? Just something to think about. So this website is called Fiat Leak. It shows you which coins are moving where around the world have to say that Cardano is mainly U.S. and Japan-based coin at this time. Look at the transaction volume. Look what's going on. Watch the movement. This is actually live. Now, the time I'm filming this video, Cardano is still moving. No one's stopping it. It's still interacting in the world as we speak. No one's stopping that. We're decentralized completely and self-sovereign in our own right. Cardano is the blockchain like no other. So now if we take a look at Bitcoin at this website, looking at Bitcoin, we see the price of Bitcoin is 25.8, almost 25.9. The 24-hour low was 25.6, and the 24-hour high was 26.69. That's what was recorded. However, the price was a little bit higher than that. It's about 26, almost 2. And Bitcoin is holding steady in spite of the FUD from the SEC. To me, this is normal, right? Coming back from 2017 till now, these are things that happen in crypto. Crypto is volatile at this point. We need U.S. regulation, and it needs to come ASAP. We've been hitting the pause button too long on regulating crypto in the U.S. Every other country is making a great effort 
to regulate this industry. Um, I believe, in my humble opinion, that what's going on in the U.S. is a ploy to try and stall for time so that way bigger players can have their way with Bitcoin and crypto in general. The Fed now is coin. The Fed now coin is soon to be released. There's a bunch of things happening in the back end that we don't know about. We're not privileged to, but they will come to light shortly. And while looking at the stock to flow model, at every cycle, when it gets into this blue area where we are right now, it starts to move back upwards. So we're almost there. We're just about at the turn of the century with Bitcoin, crypto. It's just about to happen. I believe the next couple months going into 2024 is going to be very crucial for Bitcoin. I think the summit in itself, we have some time. It's going to be time to go up and or down. I don't think we'll make such an impact in the next couple months, especially what's going on. But if the XRP case becomes favorable towards crypto in general, we will have movement. It'll be short-lived movement, but we will have movement. The major happening event is happening in 2024, I believe around April. That's when things will change historically. Not to say it's guaranteed. Every cycle has a time it can change its momentum and, and gain favorable momentum at a later date. We don't know that. But we do know that it needs to be regulated. Bitcoin is at its next point. And I believe it's going to be very fruitful this next cycle. Looking at the Binance chart at Bitcoin 2020 to present. So from my January 2020 before the happening, then we hit the happening and then an explosive market uptake into 2021. It drops back down in 2021 and then shoots up again towards the end of 2021. Now, I, don't, I didn't put up enough room to compare the other market cycles to this one. But just to give you an understanding, the halving does have a major effect on Bitcoin and crypto in general. This market cycle wasn't as explosive as the ones prior, but it does have potential. The next one coming, I think, has the most potential and the best opportunity for people to maximize on their investments in crypto. Just my opinion and not financial advice is my personal belief. So just taking a look, we're not too bad off from where we left off in the last cycle, ending in 2018, and then reviving itself in 2020. Now, we're three years past the happening. We're going into the final swing. We went down. We hit the bear market completely. And now the upstake or the uptrend starts to happen. I mean, this could come back down. We don't know that. No one can predict what's going to happen. But if we look at the market cycle in history, we do know that there's a strong possibility that we're on an upswing. And we're at the end of the bearish market going into a bull cycle, which should happen specifically next year, which will have some slight momentum up and down swings until then. Due to Chair's tyrannical reign on crypto in the last year or so, even if not more, SC Chair Gary Gensler, there has been a bill introduced to dethrone him, remove him out of that position, and regulate crypto. So the key takeaways in this bill, Representative Tom Emmer and Warren Davidson proposed a bill that will fire Chair Gensler and add more commissioners. This bill would also change how the SEC functions and who holds the most power, following the setup of Federal Election Commission. Then it goes on, in order to restore sanity in the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission and remove its current chair, Gary Gensler, Representative Warren Davidson, Ohio 8, and House Majority Whip Tom Emmer, Minnesota 06, proposed a bill on June 12 called the Securities Stabilization Act. This bill intends to counteract what they have seen long series of abuses that have gone unchecked within the existing SEC framework. Then it was a link to his Twitter account, and it goes on to read, U.S. capital market must be protected from a tyrannical chairman, including the current one, this time for real reform and to fire Gary Gensler as chair of the SEC statement. U.S. capital markets must be protected from a tyrannical chairman, including the current one, that's why introducing legislation to fix ongoing abuse of power ensures protection that is in the best interest of the market for years to come. It is time for real reform and to fire Gary Gensler as chair of the SEC. And there's another article. Congressman declares war on the SEC's tyrannical chairman Gary Gensler. Files of the stations to sack him. Another article. A secret alliance to destroy the crypto by uprising Congress. Key Elon Musk ally fans wild rumor that played havoc with the price of Bitcoin and Ethereum. And it goes to read, Bitcoin and Ethereum, the two largest cryptocurrencies by a considerable margin, 
have swung wildly this week as sudden regulatory action rocks the world of crypto, with further shocks expected. So in my last video, I talked about what was going on with the SEC and them suing Coinbase and Binance, the two largest exchanges in the U.S. There's rumor to believe that there was a bill coming out by Davidson to go after Gary Gensler, but in all honesty, this man is working unchecked. He's working without borders. He's, there's no checks and balance to the way he's operating. And there should be a system of checks and balance for any position of anyone in that position for that who has that much authority. We can't allow our politicians and our regulators to go unchecked and act freely as they please. It hurts us. It hurts me and you. It hurts anyone wanting to get involved. It brings fear and FOMO and everything else that goes along with it. We need to have these systems balanced and they need to be balanced correctly. We shouldn't have a regulator go in front of Congress and not answer questions. He should answer the questions. He should answer them as he's supposed to. Like if you was employed by anybody else and you told your boss the way you want to speak, you'd be fired immediately because there is a checks and balance system there. With this individual, there isn't a checks and balance system and he goes into Congress and speaks the way he wants to without deliberately or is deliberately not wanting to answer the questions as he should. So it's my humble belief that crypto is going to be fine. Bitcoin will be fine. These are normal, normal circumstances that happen within crypto. Whether it is a big outcry for some type of regulatory action or there's a lawsuit or there's something always going on in crypto that brings the price back down and people get scared and run. It's a small ecosystem. Until this ecosystem starts to grow and becomes more stabilized, then these things won't happen. However, this is normal crypto activity. Things will get better. It's a wide world. It's not localized to any one region, authority, or governance at all. There is no governance. Get used to this for the short while. There will be some type of stability once all the countries start to regulate it and becomes more of a mainstream investment avenue. So don't panic. Don't get too scared. Remember, you are risking what you can't afford to lose. Do not go above your means. If you're going above your means, you are definitely taking a lot of chances, but there is great reward there also. It's your choice. I believe Cardano's safe bet is not a security. I have not researched any of the other coins. I'm not too sure about Solana and all the other decentralized coins that are listed within the SEC that they're making a complaint against that they haven't gone after the other crypto blockchains for, for the alleged security that they are. They have not done any action against these cryptos whatsoever, let alone is there anyone to go after. But in my opinion, Cardano's fine. I believe it's a safe bet. According to what I've read and in my understanding of what the law is, Cardano is not a security. Thank you for watching the video all the way to the end. If you like the content, hit that like button. If you want to get notified every time I make a video, hit that bell notification. Support the channel Blockstar Crypto by subscribing. Let's get the word out about the channel. Let more people know. We need to get our subscriber base up. Remember that every Saturday and Sunday, I hold a clubhouse. The link is in the description. 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you again. Blackstar. Light in the darkness. Peace.